Today's collectible spot, yes we are, we're having a look at the Hasbro Gaming Battle Pods Good vs. Evil Despicable Me 2 Minions. A whole slew of minions. You can collect all 50 mil minions, although here you're going to get yourself five regular minions, five evil minions, two battle pods, one Gru car launcher, one die, two battle cards. Now, Spots already reviewed the blind bags of the Despicable Me 2 battle pods. Um, what I like about these is you're getting a whole slew of them, though. You're not just getting straight out one minion one blind bag minion. You're getting a whole army of minions. Feature up at the top there, there's a picture of, looks like Minion Dave to me. Um, turn around the back of the package. And you can go to www.despicable.me. Some of the minions available. Now the battle pawns, there are 50. In this case, you actually have 31, I should say, 31 minions with the Battle Pods game. Then you have exclusive minions featured through Monopoly, Operation, and I guess these are the ones that are available in this set. It says, Minions seen below sold, sold exclusively with game purchase. And I'm just looking on the front here. Yes, it does look like it's the exact same minions. So we get Quick Shot Stewart. Rocket Tom, Hot Shot Phil, Crack Shot Carl, Blaster Jerry, Evil Minion 01, 020304, and Evil Minion 05. Uh, what I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this all opened up, and when we come back, there's a lot of minions we're going to be looking at. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Included with this set, you get yourself two cards. One shows how to battle. One shows how to launch from the Gru car. Uh, first, having a look at the how to battle. Your mission, knock over all enemy minions to win. Setup, one player takes all the minions, the other takes the, all the evil minions. Each player takes half a battle pod. Um, set up your minions and pod, and pod half to face each other. Turn over the card to see how to battle. Okay, turn it around. Take turns to roll the die. If you roll Gru Car's attack, let's show the die here. If you roll this, let's move the camera in for a second. If you roll Gru's car attack, load Gru's car and fire the battle pod at, at, at enemy minions. If, however, you get this logo on the die, that's the pod attack, roll the spare battle pod at enemy minions. And lastly, if you get the minion face, it says minion attack, throw one of your minions three times at enemy minions. Then return your minion to, the, to your side. Uh, to win, the player with the last minion standing wins. And so there's the die. Um, how to launch. You have the Gru car launcher. Uh, you're going to put the car on the table, aim, and then press the button to fire the battle pod. And that seems to be the only way to, and seems the fairly simple way to fire the Gru car. But what you're going to do, though, I notice there's a second button on the bottom. Um, it doesn't seem as easy to fire, but, of course, if that's sitting on your table, that button's going to be against the surface, and then firing it fires really, really easily. To load it, you're just going to snap it back into the place. Uh, for the launcher, it still looks really neat. Some nice details on it. It's a nice silver color. The rivets and little details that they really didn't need to put in there, but a nice added touch as well. Uh, taking either one of the battle pods, put the car right there. Taking either one of the battle pods, the evil or regular pod respectively. But always seems to have a tough time opening up these battle pods. There we go. Uh, you can take any one of the minions and put them inside the battle pod if you so wish. Same idea also for the minion. 
I know with these battle pods, you gotta twist them. There we go. You gotta twist them to open them. Um, also, any one of the halves, there is a peg on the underside of the minion that you can have the minion sitting on top of the half of the minion ball, just like so. Speaking of minions, we just put those battle pods out of the way here. Let's have a look at some of the minions that we get in this set. Well, now we get five and five, we get five evil minions. One thing I like about the evil minions is that they all have this troll, remember the old troll dolls? They have this troll style hair going on there. Really outrageous, really awesome though. You get this evil minion, you get this one here. This one looks like it's not as concerned with what's going on. This one looks like it's falling asleep. You get this one right here. This guy is the real brains of the operation. He really isn't, I'm sure. You get this one right here, which bears some resemblance to the other one here. Maybe a slight bit different in the eyes. Again, that outrageous hairstyle. And lastly, and lastly, you get this one. This one, for some reason, reminds me of Joe Pesci. I don't know why. I don't know why, but he reminds me of Joe Pesci. Having a look, though, at the the good or normal minions, which I think are, uh, in this case, a little more adorable for me. They all seem to have weapons. I don't know if that's... Of course, again, Spot could have just referenced the back, but we've got a minion here with a little gun. You know what? And I think I might have mentioned this before when I did the blind bags. The smaller, despite the fact that these are smaller scaled minions, really nice on the paint. The paint is clean. There's no real mess to it. There's no bleeding or anything like that. There's no parts to it where it's painted the wrong color. Fantastic work. We've also got a minion with a rocket launcher. Ooh, better not put my hand too close to the rocket there. We've got a minion with another gun. This one looks really happy. This one's like posing for a picture. Love it. We've got this one right here. This one's a little more casual. This one is a real show-off. This one loves the attention. This one's like, no, nah, you guys, it's all right. No, no, I don't need my picture taken. And lastly, we have this one right here. Now, this one looks like he's just kind of ho-hum. This one's casual. This one's a little ho-hum. But they're all unique from one another. Again, the paint is phenomenal on it. You know what? Let's see if I can get a little closer, camera permitting. Yeah, look at the detail on these. Again, a very, very small piece. They're all... They're not super squishy. I mean, they're still a dense rubber. But for how small they are, you know what? Some really solid detail on them. And again, there's the peg hole if you want to peg them into the half of the uh, the ball, if you want to do that. I would not necessarily be inclined to play the Battle Pods game, but really, on a collection standpoint... I think collecting them definitely is a possibility. These are really, really cute little minions. I don't know what it is. Lately, Spot's been really a big sucker for Despicable Me minions. These are no different. No different at all. Now, if you don't necessarily want to be somebody that is picking up the blind bags to try to find key characters, uh, and you just want to get a, a, just a straight-out army of minions immediately at your disposable at your disposal, both evil and regular, this is a good way to go. I mean, you get, again, five regular, five evil, plus you get a launcher, and you get some battle pods. You, even, if you don't, even if you don't use this and you don't play the game, for the sole purpose of collecting and having a whole army of these things, this is worth it just for the minions alone. Um, you can't find these now at uh, your local stores. Your local toy stores and other department stores are all carrying now these minions. If you can find them, though, and you're just a big sucker for army building them, you can get a whole slew of them, and you can still play a fun game of Battle Pods. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the d new Despicable Me 2 Battle Pods Good vs. Evil. I still like the good a little bit more, but, I don't know, the evil hair, the evil troll hair on the evil ones, that's a nice little added bonus as well. 
stay tuned though guys spots got still more collectible spots heading your way a couple more despicable me reviews heading your way as well see you guys next time